Still ahead on KXAN News at Noon, sorting through conflicting information about mammograms. Seems every week we hear new advice from a new group of experts, and Dr. Jennifer Walden joins us in studio to talk about possible overuse of mammograms and the importance of self-exams. Welcome back this afternoon. Breast cancer awareness is in the news again after an article from the New York Times questioned the overuse of mammographies and reiterated the importance of a self-breast exam. Joining me today is Dr. Jennifer Walden, a plastic surgeon here in Austin, to help explain the article and some other common questions about detecting breast cancer. Thank you so much for being here Thanks this for afternoon. Me. Um, so talk about the article a little bit. What is it, what is it trying to say? It highlighted a study from the British Medical Journal that followed 90,000 women over a period of 25 years in Canada. Half of those women had a mammogram and a clinical breast exam every year. Okay. Half had a clinical breast exam. They showed no difference in the death rate from breast cancer, hmm. meaning are we overdoing it with mammography? Do we really need to do that with women? And we need to go back to women just examining their own breasts, which yeah. has been kind of debunked in the past 10 years. Right, lately we've seen, uh, we've heard that mammographies are the best method of early detection, is that right? They are, for, for silent, uh, non-palpable lesions, they can save lives. It saved my mom's life in the interim of one year because it was an aggressive cancer that was detected. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we should not ever debunk the importance of a self breast exam every 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 month at the mm -hmm. same time of the month in a clinical breast exam by your doctor once a year because those things can actually detect early lesions just as well as my mom as mammography this study is showing right yeah I mean who knows their body better than yourself right it, exactly and I think that's the take-home message here is not to stop getting mammograms the American Cancer Society has not changed its guidelines at all right. but I think the take-home message is for young women and older women to do a self breast exam every month you're the one that knows your breast the best, not uh -huh. even the doctor that examines you once a, once a year. Does it mean re-educating people once again because we have gone through this period of, well, maybe the self-exam isn't the best? Absolutely. I think for a long time, uh, brochures and literature were taken away from women. It came off of some of the cancer websites, mm -hmm. and now it's, it's back, and we need to go to the Susan G. Komen website, go to the American Cancer Society website, and learn how to do that self-breast exam in a vertical fashion, laying down, mm -hmm. doing look at your breasts in the mirror. Do they change in symmetry, any discharge, any puckering? Because um, you're going to notice those changes, those subtle things, you're going to notice first before your doctor or anybody else does yeah, probably. Because there could be a generation out there that is not familiar with that uh, exam. Right. It, uh, actually, women with breast implants are so more in tune with their breasts than some that don't even have that. And so for younger women, it may be the, the first way they're going to detect an early cancer is just by feeling their own breasts and doing that exam. So it really is a generation of women who kind of uh, have not heard about that. All they ever heard was just start to get a mammogram at age 40. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good uh, public surface message, I think, is to go back to that breast exam, which is so important. And you mentioned breast implants. They have become so popular, does the method of detection change with breast implants? No, with breast implants, when they're put under the muscle, sometimes it can actually facilitate the detection of a palpable lesion because it acts as a platform. But telling your mammographer and getting a couple of extra views on the mammogram where mm -hmm. it pushes that implant against the chest wall, we can see the breast tissue. You may end up getting an ultrasound or possibly even an MRI in a high-risk situation if mom and sister had breast cancer as well. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't change the fact that there's going to be a yearly imaging process and actually sometimes breast implants keep patients more in tune and they're examined more by doctors. For example, I examine a woman with breast right. implants far more than someone without. Uh, does it increase or decrease the likelihood that you might get it or, or no effect? No effect. No oh. effect. Absolutely no effect. It doesn't increase the uh, incidence or death rate from, uh, from breast cancer. Really. Dr. Jennifer Walden, a plastic surgeon here in Austin, talking about the importance now again of self breast exams in detecting early detection of breast cancer. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. We'll be right back. Back. 